I'm sure you've been there, but you didn't know just how much that project cost. So you searched all over, you tried to find the right code, and then, well, you missed. Obviously, answering that question wrong has some consequences that you want to prevent by watching this video. So in this video, I'm going to help you out to price your skills right and be able to give the right code for each project and get the right amount of money and not the amount that your client actually wants to give you. So I have created full use case for you guys in FigJam based on your level, level of work, are you junior, senior, mid-level, and based on the region you live in, based on your personal evaluation of yourself, and based on that, I'm gonna give you the exact pricing range that you could give your client, how to give that pricing range, and how to actually negotiate it with them in all of these different areas, and then you would have a basic knowledge on how to do this. So let's go in there and let's talk about it. First, starting with landing page, uh, based on your level, region, and personal evaluation, we're gonna give you. Uh, I'm gonna give you a range of amount that you're gonna be able to charge for a simple landing page. So, starting for uh, from level, based on the level that you're working on, if, if you're a junior and, for example, you're working less than a year, even, I would. Uh, be confident that if you want to get us started and you want to actually land a job i wouldn't charge more than i don't know 250 till um 500 this is the amount i would charge and why is this so cheap it's basically because i want people uh, to want to work with me at the first place so i would be able to have something to show for uh, my work and then as a mid-level you're working for for example, a good amount of time right now, you're probably working for a year or two, I would suggest you charging. Okay, so I would suggest you to charge something around, let's say, from 800 to 100 to 1200 basically. So why the jump in the amount? Basically, I'm confident that here, you know how to build a good system for your client, you're able to do good responsive views, you're able to do small interaction animations and stuff like that. And then as a senior, you're gonna be probably charging over, I would say 3K for each project. So there's a difference here. It's the difference for your level. Like for example, a senior designer has been working on a project for like over four years so just to do a simple landing page they're gonna obviously charge more because there's gonna be more reason in that landing page the way they put hierarchy to actually push the revenue higher and stuff like that so as a senior this is it i know for example the mid-level and senior people already know this is basically for juniors but you're gonna be able to like uh, know the amount okay and then let's go for a full fudge website so here for example you're going to be designing the landing page and you're going to be designing the whole platform it really depends on what that platform is like how many different features they have and how much work you need to put in there but i would say for a junior a whole platform would start from um 2k basically so here you would have a lot of work. So this is a reasonable amount. This is the starting point. I'm gonna say, let's say uh, one uh, to 200. Th this, this is better, I guess. So this is the amount you're gonna be charging for a full website platform. And it's gonna be in this range for your clients to actually accept. And for a mid-level, I would say when I was mid-level, I was in charge of a lot. So <laughs> I would actually say uh, from three, 3K to let's say five. And then as a senior, I, there's again gonna be a huge jump, but I'm gonna say it's gonna be more than 10K for a full platform. 
and it's gonna be yeah it, they they're probably gonna charge way more than this but uh, this is like a small estimation of that and then the mobile app is actually pretty similar so it's gonna be again i'm gonna clean this up later but let's do it like this for now and then for a mid-level i would say this is gonna be the same maybe a mobile would actually cost a little bit less so i'm just gonna say four and then as a senior i'm gonna say this is how they cost for a full project so this was um based on your level of work based on the time you're working as a ux designer stay till the end of the video so you'll know how to actually present this amount to your client and how to actually be able to get the right amount of work you're doing fixed price of each um project based on the level of your uh, work now let's talk about region so something that you might not know or you maybe already know it is that the price that you can actually give to your clients differs from the region you actually live in so if you're for example living in asia and africa there's gonna be like lesser amount they actually expect from you and if you're living in europe it's still gonna be less than america and then again in america it's gonna be the highest by america i mean united states and canada the central american uh, places like that that i i'm not sure of but all of this uh, data about regions that i'm gonna give you it's actually based on my research personal uh, experience and uh, the statistics that i found on the internet so basically if you're going to design a landing page and you're based in asia and africa people are actually going to expect something around this is based on hourly so the previous one was fixed price now i'm just going to give you the hourly rate that uh, clients expect from different regions so in asia and uh, africa this is not a lot but it's actually 15 to like 30 dollars so this is like actually let's say it's gonna be like around 10 to 30 dollars max and yeah this is based on the currency of the country that you live in so they're gonna be a little bit sensitive about that then for places like countries in europe it's gonna actually start from averagely 20 dollar to um, around 60 for a landing page and then for places in america like canada and united states it's going to be something around the starting point is going to be 35 and till like 65 so as you can see it actually escalates between the regions that different people live in and this is only for landing pages and then if we want to say for websites and like web apps the expected hourly rate actually rises a bit so it's going to be from 25 to 60 and then for europe it's again going to be 35 to 60 and then american countries are going to be something around 40. so again as you can see the prices escalate so that the 60 part like these are plus so if you're like a super senior person with like great qualities maybe these different types of section wouldn't actually be a problem for you or you don't have to like go with them i'm just giving you the general data of how these things work and then again as you can know it's the same for the mobile app so i'm just gonna paste it here And then the final one and the most important one that I actually use for myself is like based on the amount of time that you spent on a project, I'm going to explain that later, based on the skill set, you might be able to create animations for your client, you might be 
able to actually uh, create extra stuff that other designers can't do and then based on your assets by assets i mean if you're working on a project and you've done that before you're probably gonna have a bunch of assets and you're gonna be uh, educated in that type of product so that's kind of an asset and it actually effects on the price that you can give to your clients so by personal evaluation if you can do a project in, a, in like lesser time you're gonna add some money to that because you're gonna say okay you see i can do this project for you in less than a week this project normally takes like two weeks for example i can have the time for you but since i'll be like working more or it's just that i'm faster in person i'm gonna charge you this amount more for that if you want to do it in less timeline that's the price and if you're going to do it in more of a timeline that's going to be the price so you're going to add the amount so it's going to be for example if you're doing a landing page and like you're a junior and like you can do it in two days you can just take 700 instead of 500 you see i'm what i'm saying you're going to add into it so by time i think like 10 percent of the exact amount that you gave if you add it at 10 percent to it that would make sense if you have higher skills based on each skill i would say take the amount higher to something around 50 percent to 20 percent because if that other person is going to do it with someone else that has that skill that you're adding on to the project it's going to be very more expensive for them you should add something that still works for that people to continue working with you and don't want to go do it with someone else and still is a value added to the project you know and then based on the assets i would say add extra 10 percent or 20 percent 10 to 20 percent to that project just because you know how to do it and just because you have the extra data and just because you've been educated before that's actually a time saving for your client again same goes for websites and mobile apps nothing different in that what i mean like on a website and on a mobile app basically there are some kind of knowledge that you have that would like make it 10 times worth more so i would uh, want you to evaluate yourself properly based on these things that i mentioned and actually give a right price and now let's say part of this video on how to send your client the amount of money you're gonna take and how to actually ask them what's their budget so you'll be able to fit the amount of required work within that budget so i do have a google form that i have all of my questions that i need from them i send them a type of budget requirement so this is again gonna differ between landing pages uh, i don't know type of the client i'm gonna work with and stuff like that but let's just be have the baseline here so if we're gonna ask them if their budget is like under 2k if it's between 2 to 5k if it's between 5 to 8k and if it's between 8 to 12k and if it's more than 12k basically and then based on the budget range that they give you you're gonna send over a bunch of different deliverables that you're gonna be able to give them for a fixed price within that budget so you, first you're gonna evaluate yourself and like set a nice pricing range for all of your different services and then you're gonna let your clients choose their budget range and within that budget range you're going to send over the deliverables that you can give them and if there's something out there that they want and it's the budget that they're asking is less than the budget that you require for doing that you can easily just send over all of the different requirements and how you're pricing them and just explain to them and maybe they want to add it for the extra amount looks awesome thank you